everyone, welcome back to the Local Happenings Weekly Update with Erico. This weekend, you're not going to go too far, but yet, northern part of Sasebo City, which is called Yoshicho. Well, as a matter of fact, Yoshicho is a part of Sasebo City. The uh, northern part of Sasebo City, I mean, on Route 204. Yoshicho is famous for strawberries, but unfortunately, season is over. Uh, what comes next? Melons. Melons. Yeah. Yoshicho melons and they're going to uh, have the, a lot of melons out the market it is called the melon festival 20th and 21st which means this weekend Saturday and Sunday uh, during this festival you're going to see the stage show as well as mochi uh, throwing mochi are the a pair the pink color small mochi and the white color we call it red and white that, that's going to be thrown to the uh, Customers, people who come to the uh, festival, and it's sharing the happiness with people. And uh, we are so excited to catch one. Just recently, I was asked, <laughs> someone who missed the uh, sake festival, and uh, he wants to go and uh, catch some mochi for good luck. And so this is your chance. Please go over there. And next week, and there is another uh, chance for mochi catching. So that information, please wait until next week. All right, that was northern part of Sasebo City. And next one is Sonogicho, hand craft, handmade crafts. And also the hand, uh, I mean, home baked goods. <laughs> Those are, uh, the, during the festival, you can find them in Sonogicho, handmade, hand craft festival. It's happening on both days, Saturday and Sunday. It's in, Sonogicho is very close from the Hario village. Please uh, check my list and you're going to Google the uh, information and also, uh, Google map coordinates. So you're going to find it out and you're going to follow the map and you're going to get there. All right, number three is Sasebo City, the Gobangai. Well, we call it Gobangai. The American people call it New Mall behind the Sasebo train station. Uh, this weekend is yes, Friday till Sunday. Uh, they are having a long sleep kimono display. Not for sale, but you're going to see colorful kimonos to try to attract the people who are turning, coming of age <laughs> next January. They're going to check it out, what color and uh, what design uh, 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 in the fashion of this year. So they're going to check it out. And for us, photo ops, you can take pictures with them. <laughs> and Monday in the new mall, they're going to have Japanese uh, local, I mean, very folklore music using the uh, bamboo uh, flute or the uh, shamisen, which is a Japanese style guitars. They're going to play music uh, twice, uh, two o'clock and four o'clock over there at the uh, uh, new mall. So if you're interested in local music, that's a good idea to look at. And in Sasebo City, the Sasebo Art Center, it's going to be an exhibition of the Sasebo Citizens Art Exhibition. It's going to be good. And also, uh, it's free of charge. <laughs> if you're a big fan of the arts, please stop by the Arts Center. And a music concert is scheduled this Sunday, and which is a wind orchestra. Usually, those orchestra do not, uh, they do not really play the jazz music, but the wind <laughs> orchestra is going to meet with jazz. So they're going to play jazz music. If you're a big fan of the jazz music, that might be a good idea to stop by the August Sasebo on Sunday. That's about it. Thank you so much for listening, and I'm ho hoping you're going to have a great week and a weekend. See you next week.